Brussels is home to European Union headquarters. The Western Military Alliance, NATO, is also based there. But one in five people tested in Brussels are COVID positive. The government has now imposed month-long restrictions to control the second wave of infections. Bars and restaurants have been ordered shut and as expected, the catering sector isn't happy. Here's a report. The Brussels catering industry has slammed government's new restrictions. They claim the government's decision to shut down all restaurants and bars for four weeks is a catastrophe. No, it is a real catastrophe because um, there is not a proven um, reason, medical reason, that it, it was in the restaurants. Because as you all know that we have the protocols who are very good uh, followed in Belgium. And so we don't understand why they closed the, the restaurants. The catering industry has called government's newly imposed restrictions unscientific and unjust. They claim restaurants maintain social distancing, but with outlets closed, more people will opt for unregulated house parties. Uh, we think that it is uh, not only unfair, but it, uh, we think it's not the good or the right solution, because now what will happen probably is that a lot of people, they will make parties uh, at their home without any uh, uh, restrictions uh, about uh, safety. So that will probably uh, even higher the rates uh, to the future. So instead of going down, we are nearly sure, of course we don't hope it, but we are a little bit afraid that it will higher. Restaurants are allowed to serve takeaway food, public benches and are filled with people. Well, we are forced to eat like paupers on a bench, but I'm saying, in a way, it sucks because the restaurants are closed while McDonald's restaurants can still serve takeaway food. So it does not make any sense. What will we do when it rains? I do not know. Others miss their social life. I will miss a lot of friends. I think it's a shame. But if that's what needed, then I will. For everyone's health, I won't take the risk of infecting anyone. <laughs> Signs like these are common outside restaurants in the city, opening on November 19th. Though unsatisfied, everyone is eager to beat the virus together. Listen, that's life. That's how it is. We have no choice but to follow the rules. Like some people say, there are quite a few people who don't take enough precautions, I would say. Belgium has the second highest infection rate in Europe. It is in the midst of a second wave. People in Brussels, however, want to make the best of it. Bureau Report, we on World is One.